This section's awfully stubby. Info from the Lost Dimension. To her coy doctor. The Two Rivers. Beauty on the Inside. And Black Friday. Stranded in the vortex after her manipulator malfunction. River was harbored by a man named Daniel and his daughter Allison on their ship, and stayed with them some weeks, trying to find a way to escape. They eventually came across the ruined timeship of Admiral Eno, and River devised a plan with her to take her back to working so they can live. Aboard the ship was, however, a dangerous criminal, Calliope, who attacked them. While working with Daniel to stop her, River suddenly realized the main core of Daniel's ship was built out of one of the rooms of the Doctor's TARDIS, and that the man who welcomed her and who she helped was actually the master in Bruce's body. He allied himself with Calliope to kill her, but River instead persuaded Allison to take off her stabilizer, thus reverting her to her original form, a Vortipoda cub. While it was attacking the master, River escaped from the vortex in Eno's ship, telling her to land someplace where she could repair the manipulator. Audio. The lifeboat and the death boat, after receiving a galactic alert about plague and imminent uprising on Peladon, River Song traveled there to investigate, infiltrating Queen Thalira's court in the guise of High Priestess Kantinka. She clashed with the Chancellor, Gobrin, as a group of Galactic Federation delegates visited Peladon on their own investigation. Befriending Delegate Alpha Centauri, River fended off suspicion from Gobrin and exposed his secret alien slave dealings with the Arcturan delegate and discovered a Karg Mafia agent, Mendica, had taken the Earth delegate's place. Confronting Mendica, she was saved by Alpha Centauri unleashing the slaves on him. Audio, The Poison of Peladon. 